video that I've been wanting to make for a long time now and that just so happens to be the five things that I personally love about my Genesis Coupe. Number one on the reasons why I do love my Genesis so much is how unique it is in the area that I'm in. Around here in Southern Louisiana, we don't typically have a bunch of Genesis, especially modified ones. We typically have a big muscle car scene or a pony car scene, like uh, Mustangs, Camaros, Challengers, Chargers, all of that. And that's one reason why I do like this car a lot because it does stand out a lot. It's more unique and I don't know, I feel like it's uh, pretty noticeable whenever I'm in a crowd full of all the muscle cars and stuff. Everybody looks at my car and they're like, well that's different. And I personally like to stand out from the crowd a little bit. And uh, if I wanted to be fast, then I would have definitely gotten like a Jay-Z, RB or something like that. But it would have costed a lot more and I'm just not into that. So as a more affordable approach, I got myself a Genesis and I wouldn't turn back. Number two on the list of things that I actually love about this car is how easy it is to maintain and work on and how spacious the engine bay is. I mean, if you look around the engine bay, you can see that there's a lot of space on both sides uh, for reaching down, getting to the headers. And if you take off this air intake duct on the front, then there's a lot of room in front of the motor as well. And uh, also on the back side of the motor. The car does use mostly standard size bolts and clips, so I don't have to fiddle with any Torx bits or uh, triple squares or anything of that nature and that's one thing that makes it easy to work on and there also isn't any boost application so the vacuum lines are pretty straightforward. When I got this car I did want to make sure that I opted in to get the 3.8 liter V6 and that brings me to my next thing that I love about it is the size of the motor on this thing because as we all know there's no replacement for displacement so I wanted to get the biggest motor in case I did want to go boost in the future which I would want to push it a little bit so I would have to do some inter internal mods uh, as far as like pistons rods and things of that nature but hey that's the name of the game in order to step into a v6 this big uh, you would have to potentially spend a lot more money or either go like with a boosted Porsche or some sort uh, in which you would get a quote unquote better motor but like I said I like to be different and I actually have had my fair share of people telling me that this thing actually does sound like a V8 so thumbs up to me. Number four on the list of things that I love about this car is actually the exterior and interior styling of it. I'm so in love with the body lines on the exterior of the car from the exterior styling of the hood, uh, the vents in it, the swoop swirls of the tail lights and headlights, the short aggressive stance along with the wide hips. It just all complements each other so good and I like that about the car. As far as the interior, as you can see, I have done some custom work to it. Uh, I do like the red, white, black, and gray dragon uh, style fabric that I have in here, as well as some of the blue ambient lighting that they do have uh, in the interior from factory. A lot of my friends and some consumers uh, on the internet say that they don't actually like the styling of the Genesis as far as the interior, saying it's a bit outdated and stuff, but I think it's aged quite nicely. I mean, I can't understand that the font on some things could be changed, but you could just trade some of that stuff out with the aftermarket. I don't know, it might just be me. But I think Hyundai did a pretty good job with styling this car. I had to get inside the car to quiet everything down because today just so happens to be one of the busiest days on my street that it has ever been in history. So 
now I'm in the car. If you're still watching the video at this point, I just want to go ahead and reach out a friendly reminder to, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because obviously you like what I'm saying here. Fingers crossed on that that I know what I'm talking about. Or you can just leave a thumbs up and it helps out the video a lot and shows support. But number five on a list of things that I love about my car is the value of the car. Uh, depreciation hit this car very hard as you can all see. All right, if you don't know then this definitely costs less than like a 370z and that's like one of the earlier model 370z's at that and uh i feel as if you get more out of the car uh the 370z potentially has a better motor uh well actually the whole drivetrain if you ask me and uh that keeps the value up on it but this isn't about the 370z it's about the genesis but with a sub fifteen thousand dollar price point and uh i would say around a hundred thousand miles ish around that price point you do get the bucket seats that i'm sitting in which is the r spec model and uh oh yeah i am talking about the r spec model by the way so you get the bucket seats they are quite comfortable except on long road trips after a few hours or so you're gonna want to take a break walk around a little bit get you something to drink and uh chill out for a few minutes or so before you continue it but uh you get the bucket seats you get brembo brakes you get a lsd differential uh and you get a unique car with great tracking capabilities uh some of y'all might not care about the tracking capabilities but i personally do and so i feel like this is a great candidate for entry level tracking and like i said before the car is set up quite nicely for me and i do like that i do like that it does uh give me a little bit of uniqueness uh to the car community around where i'm at and the car is a very nice car to be in i don't think i'll be getting rid of this genesis anytime soon if i ever get rid of it i do still have big plans for it and i plan on taking y'all with me on the journey so like i stated before if you aren't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe like the video and uh support the channel support the dream support the journey that me and Don, my genesis are gonna be on very shortly hopefully this year in 2024 if you haven't already be sure to check out the card at the top right of the screen and see what i said the top five worst things that i hate about my car are and uh let me know how you feel about that but this is where i'm gonna end today's video so always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more and i thank y'all for watching